it's annoying for whatever reason because of the way the podcast is. Okay. I know. We just said that. So amazing. shut up and let us do our job. Okay. Ten seconds. Okay, good. That's all I need. That was your. That's, that's, like, that's good. That's ten. That that's is good. pretty long for Tila. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so welcome to the. Well, no, we're open it with a cheer. I guess. All right. Uh, I always mix it up. A funny thing happened on the way to the podcast, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, did it? <laughs> Cheers! Oh, yeah. all the time. Oh. Oh, blow my This is terrible. Make sure you get that is awful. Mm. No, I'm so gonna. Vodka. You messed that one up. I'm gonna time. wash that down with some Guinness. Uh, I got a margarita. Guinness always does this. It always scares. It really does. Me. Cheers on the margarita. Cheers with the Guinness. It's foaming. <laughs> My little tiny cup. If you haven't guessed it, this is the St. Patrick's Day edition of the podcast, and this is Justin. What's yeah. up? So, it's weird. The lens isn't right at me. I wonder if I'm even in the shot. Oh, well, how about I look for you? So That's perfect. Sure. Could do that. Oh, wait, you're in the shot. How about over oh, here? There you go. You in the shot right there. You're in the edge of the frame. Yeah. Hey. Oh. There we go. We're good. All righty. Um, it's weird without the headphones. It is definitely different, but I think it's a little bit... It, it makes me feel a lot less official, I gotta say. A little bit. It's just, conversa- just conversation. Con- you're already stumbling. I'm sitting down. That's not possible. <laughs> That looks like, uh, like, uh, coffee, like, uh, mm. nothing tasty. Yeah. You don't like Guinness it? is good, though. I, I like Guinness. It. I really mm. like stout beers in general. There's a couple, I know the Merchant Ale House has one that's like an oatmeal stout, and it's pretty good. What's uh, it? Guinness with Bailey's. I've never Look tried at that. that. Yeah. It's, it's like it works perfect like for it today because does. it's an Irish car bomb. Yep. I don't have any Bailey's, but I'd like to. Yeah. I would make that. So the. Rule one of the podcast, don't, don't hit, hit the microphone. Don't do that. Rule two of the podcast, don't hit the microphone. Keep it away from my feet then. Rule number three, probably don't yell in the microphone, but that's okay. Um, the only problem with this is, once again, this is going to end up being released in May. Yeah. Based well, on our current. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I go back and I watch like the, what did I watch? I watched the Rooster Teeth podcast from Shrove Tuesday. It's not Shrove Tuesday, but it's still. I am not was, doing like, that. Well, why not? It's just rum. <laughs> I don't care. I'm good with this kind of shot. A little rum in your belly? Yum, yum. Have you have you ever had Guinness? No. Take a sip. It's really, it it's, a, it's a try. more bitter than most beers, but it's creamy at the same time. It's got a... Cheers. I just want to know your opinion of a stout as a person who doesn't even really like beers. What is the verdict? The aftertaste is where the bitter comes in, mostly. I could drink it. Yeah. Drinking. If I had to choose a beer, I will now choose Guinness. Yeah. You get sick of them if you have a bunch. But if I don't... Oh, yeah. That's why I drink, like, one at a time. Yeah. Well, speaking of getting sick of beer, you have got sick of beer. I have got sick of beer. Why? 54 in a weekend is not fun. You're on a podcast. You have to... There's there's backstory involved. Backstory. Okay. So it was my birthday weekend. So I don't know which one to look at. Anyone. Anyone. You don't even have to look at a camera. Then, so, yeah, you could look at I don't Eric. Know it so, it was my birthday weekend. I was turning 27. So, Old as balls. Naturally, this guy right here is like 27 times 2. That's how many beers you're going to drink. 54. You so, know. hold me to that standard. I'd like to try it when I'm 27. Yeah. So, over the span of what? Two days? No, it was... We got Three there, days, got Thursday, there Friday at like Friday? 2 30. Yeah. And you were done Sunday night. Yes. Okay. So two and a half days. Two and a half days, 54 beers, an average of what, 15 to 20 beers a day. Your liver probably loves you. <laughs> That's so many loaves of bread and carbs. <laughs> That's so. M- Didn't we do it out? And was it like 16 loaves of bread? It's a lot of bread. That's a lot of bread. So. I was just what like, a great abrupt ending to the story. It is abrupt. I didn't know what it, I was expecting to last longer because I'm going to keep track of how much I'm drinking tonight using Alcadroid, the 
There's an fine, app for that? Fine application from available on your Android. I what's the good? What's the point in keeping track of how much you drink? I don't know. It's just, inter- look. Just, I have I have charts. Giggles. Like, okay, if I go to, sorry, you can't join in on the views. No, you can't. But that's too bad. I have a chart, so if I want to go to your microphone is blocking my view. I have no idea how to use this. Unfortunate view log. How do I see it in the month perspective? I have like a oh, calendar, right and it'll show the increments of alcohol over time. But mm-hmm. what I'm looking for is a chart. There's, there it is. It's a oh, everybody a wants charts. So look, that is my alcohol consumption over time. You can see there's a huge spike. Oh, there's a spike right there. on February 10th, 12th. Hey, that's my hey, birthday. That's birthday. <laughs> that's that's birthday. Your birthday. There you go. And I can see, I can go back and t- there's a huge spike. That is the most alcohol I've ever consumed in a night. When, when is that? Wow. That was January 6th? That's a... 7th? Random time. I don't know. I don't remember why. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously. That's interesting. <laughs> I might have to give that a try. Mine would be blank for the past month. This is the first night in drinking over a for month. A, yeah. For a month, since, really? Since your birthday. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, since my birthday. I did an experiment. I got thinking, some people have given up drinking, I'm going to do it for an entire month. Hmm. Some people feel amazing. I felt no change. Absolutely none. I don't think mm-hmm. any of us drink to the level like an alcoholic. Yeah, you would think. Ruin yeah. our lives with. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a beer or two, you know, if the game's on or you just goofing around, having a beer. Shooting a podcast. Shooting yeah. a podcast, drinking a beer. Teal and I switched to Bud Light for our last case of beer, which really slowed down the amount that we drank. Oh, so we just yeah. were pretty tired of Bud Light after a while. Yeah. It worked pretty well. I'm going to add. I don't even know how to add a jello shot. I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Should I just say a shot? Well, it's not quite a shot. It's not quite a shot. Is half a shot? Half a shot of vodka? Half it? a shot. They are they are a little potent. A little bit. I'm gonna I have I'm an I have fan. an increment of alcohol that says half pint. That's the closest thing I have to a half shot. What's a half a pint half though? Pint? You can you can order half pints at uh, a couple of the bars around here. Usually they give you a little flights of beer, you get like four of them. Yeah, okay. So hmm. a little bit less beer per glass, but you get to try more. And I'm gonna add the Guinness. Because I've specifically labeled Unless you like put in the the volume of the alcohol, put the percentage of the alcohol, and name it whatever it's named. So, it's no, pretty... the increments they just like tall can, small can. They they have preset ones, but I just I'll put like the, the bottle says four hundred and forty one milliliters. Put that yeah. in. Them. That works. That works it. Yeah. And then you you can show it to your doctor and ask him how fucked you are. True. <laughs> I'm sure there's the same thing out there for smoking. Smoking. There's food. My fitness pal tracks oh, yeah. the food. Yeah. I used my fitness pal for a long time. Oh boy, did it work. It worked. I used it so as well. well. I used it as well. I have tracked my food, <laughs> and it tells me I do not eat well. It, it actually judges you depending on the type of food. It doesn't. Or like if you get, it, it doesn't, doesn't go by, judge you. It just. But like if you don't get enough vitamin, I don't know, just say potassium in a day or something, is it going to tell you, hey, you're not eating healthy because you're not getting enough potassium? No. 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 Don't you would think, think so. that would mean. There's a paid version. A now. paid version you can track your your micronutrients and your macros, but it's I mean that's for like the the hardcore food trackers. It's, it's not the three hundred pound not, people. <laughs> it's kind of it reminds me a little bit of the you idea. Track the Taco Bell. It reminds me a bit of people who use the the blood pressure at home ones. Oh, yeah. It's like yeah, people are like oh I love this thing it lets me know what my blood pressure is. It doesn't do anything about it, and no, people don't just... change their habits based upon it. They just it's kind of what it's gonna be like. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, look, I'm eating enough to make me fat. Oh, okay, right. I, I, it frustrates me because there's so many people in my life that have one of those blood pressure machines, and that like my dad, he he got one recently, and he was using it at the coffee table, and he's like, oh, look, my blood pressure is pretty good. He's like, after this cup of coffee, it's not gonna be it's good not anymore. Not gonna be good anymore. He so, drank the cup. Of yeah. Coffee. He drank the cup. Of coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the the blood pressure machines. I feel like I have my glasses on, but it's a hat. It is. Um. One shot down. There was a blood pressure machine at the gym I went to, and it when it would read, it would be unbelievably high. Wow. I can't remember what the readout was, and it was during a stressful point. You know, business wasn't good, and I got thinking, I should inquire further about this. Hmm. Went to the doctor. Yeah. The doctor's like, well, it is a little high for your age. Just kind of in that weird in between where it's fine, but it's not. It's not as good as it could be. As good as it could be, but it's nowhere near your printout here. I'm like, huh. So I would test it, and there were a few days where I would go from the gym to the Shoppers Drug Mart that had its own. The gym's one just isn't calibrated. 
And I doubt they care because it makes people feel unhealthier than they are. That's kind of a benefit. You could you could definitely sway people's opinions of themselves by like the oh, scale. The scale at the gym. Yeah. I got on the scale at the gym. I'm like, I don't think I gained eight pounds. Hmm. I step on it too. Same thing. I gained eight pounds. Eight pounds over. Yeah. yeah. Eight pounds is enough to get you scared. Shit, it's bit. almost ten pounds. A little bit. I probably not me. I fluctuate like ten pounds every like every other week. If I weigh myself, ten pounds up, ten pounds down. No. But then I went home and I stepped on our scale and it's just the same it's always been. Depressing. Depressing. Still depressing. <laughs> but eight pounds little, less depressing. Eight pounds less depressing. It's just like a faded mark of like the shadow cat but leaning <laughs> yeah. onto the scale. <laughs> well, I mean, when you think about it, when you weigh above 250, eight pounds is I mean, such a could, negligible amount. Could be just all water weight and... It's a lot of water. It is. Yeah. Wait. I, I'm just noting you have a green Dolster videography and photography. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I, I think I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah. Other St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. When did you make that and why did you make it green? Uh, I didn't. Okay. One day I brought in a green shirt to Tila because she's like, I'll make you St. Patrick's Day one. And she put it. And here you go. And <laughs> she did it. <laughs> It was back in a point in time in my life where I got thinking drunk advertising was a good thing. Turns out it is. <laughs> Cheers. I've heard from like every podcast that started off with a subtitle that included the word drunk or like inebriated or whatever the yeah. title. It's bad. It's sponsors don't like it. No. no, but we don't have any. Okay. But we could. Speaking of sponsors. Yeah. Okay. Would be nice, but I got, I got to be honest. I told her to listen to this. Thankfully, she's not going to listen to it until, like, May. <laughs> Melissa? No. No, no. I have a friend. Oh. Okay. okay. And she started vlogging. Okay. It's great. She's, she's doing, like, uh, uh, mom-spirational. So, inspirational stuff for moms. I'm, I'm sure that sells well for... And she does... What? Well, does the, okay. The, the popular people. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Three videos a week, give or take. I can't produce that. I can't sit down, but she does it while her kids are napping. Mm -hmm. Good timing to do it. I mean, Olivia is at school now. Okay, so she does when one kid... So I mentioned kids' names on the podcast. I guess we don't know who they are. No. Anyways. It's a first name. If her first episode, well done. It looks great. I didn't know that with no following whatsoever, you could get affiliate links. Yeah. Not a clue. Which means that you're going to a company. Well, hold up. Like for Amazon or something? No, it was for a wellness site. Yeah. So, I don't think it's that unreasonable because if you post the affiliate links, even if you're a nobody, you're still getting them sales, right? Well. And you're going to get a kickback because you yourself clearly directed this person to buy from your name. Yes. But I, I just, you would think with all the people out there, they might be at least a little more. I don't know. I've, I've never gone through the process of trying to acquire an affiliate link because I have it, no reason. It, but we could for this podcast. We could. It also just seems a little weird, though, because at the beginning, it shouldn't be about making money. It should be trying to find a niche, yeah. trying to find where you can go before you it's lead true. people to purchasing. Yeah. She hasn't made anything. I, out, no. of, out of curiosity on that topic, <laughs> is our podcast monetized? I don't know. Uh, you can't monetize stuff anymore to start. No, YouTube, oh, because you've got to be above YouTube a crack certain down level. on that real hard. That's interesting. Yeah. What? What's the crackdown? You pay attention. Uh, a thousand subscribers. <laughs> you know, um, I, a certain I, amount of watch time. I, I think I, I think I know what you're talking about. I, I would almost say like really the way to go. Most YouTubers have gone the way is you have merchandise, you have things on the side. It's almost even even if let's just say we ever did get a following that was big enough to garner a dollar a month or something, whatever. Yeah. It's not worth. It's not worth. Showing that, people that's what a lot right. of YouTubers are doing now. They have a, a Patreon page. Yeah, Patreon's not bad. Either. Yeah, Patreon takes a pretty big cut. To be fair, yeah, because all these small YouTubers now big. are getting screwed over by this new YouTube change. Mm -hmm. So they're losing all their monetizations. So they have to resort to Patreon and stuff like that. What we need to figure out, though, the big problem that I've noticed is the Facebook page does okay. Yeah, I mean, there's not a ton of followers. I've seen. I see the notifications for the traffic all the yeah. time. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, is it doesn't, like like any type, and we know this from posting, it does okay on Facebook, but you can't get people to click the YouTube link. No. 
I don't know what Facebook's video link is, but it would be almost beneficial to post the podcast on full Facebook. on Facebook. Let's as well. let's do that if we can. I don't know what the out. limit is though. I mean, you could for test length? it. I could test it because I I don't know what the length limit is. I don't know if there is one. I've I've never you, seen a I've long never seen a, YouTube a doesn't long YouTube really have one. Well, that being said. For Facebook Live videos, you can go for a bit. You can go for yeah. almost 90 minutes. And we did that, uh, those uh, cooking shows that went on yeah. for quite a while. <laughs> well, and it wouldn't be too hard to keep this podcast down to an hour and 30 or whatever. Yeah. Except hard. for last week. We were both tired. And that was we a just mistake. went for two hours. <laughs> that was a mistake. But it was, it was a fun. It was fun. That was probably was my favorite one so far, really. Yeah. yeah. And everything went well. The, the cameras worked. Mm-hmm. Like the one I just edited yesterday where it's mostly GoPro. But that's okay. Mm. It made it quick to edit. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's only one shot. There's only to one edit. shot to cut to. Oh. Um, I have, I have a bunch of random things. Oh, there was one thing I really wanted to talk about. I don't remember it now. I kind of want to talk about cars again because I have a different opinion than I did before. Go for it. Okay. I, have either of you ever driven like a hybrid or an electric vehicle? No. 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 Okay. So a quick rundown, at least until more recently, hybrids tended to be, you would get in them and it, you know, you start up, some of them would have a fancy push button start, not all of them. And a lot of times it would just be the battery that would kick on. So you wouldn't hear the engine. It'd be fine. Mm-hmm. But as soon as you say you get into a, a Prius or something like that, and you drive up to about 30 to 40 kilometers an hour, the engine kicks in. You hear it kick on, whatever, but back down, you go back down to the regular, and you know, silent. lower speeds and it's mm-hmm. silent. So it's fine. You would think... You go with something like a Tesla or something that's only electric, it's going to be selling all the time. I realize that there's, they call them plug-in hybrids. There's something in between. I know, I think the Prius has an option now. And the one that I test drove today was the Chevy Volt. It is so, it is my my favorite car that I've ever test driven and out of anything. Why? For one, I got into it. And this is not a cheap car by any stretch. This video is not sponsored by Chevrolet. (laughs) Which, Whatever. It could if it, it could please be. please sponsor send us, us three three I'll take three cars the the Chevy Volt for one it's it's not could a cheaper imagine? that'd be oh my, God. That'd be the, yeah. my dream that'd be country great. amazing yeah. it's it's probably the most expensive car I've ever test driven the MSRP on it with after I don't know if it's after the rebates and everything but it's it's about forty seven thousand dollars buying it tomorrow no. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll get a house for it. Maybe, yeah. maybe two days yeah hey, maybe you get that it, job. It's okay to talk about things that are happening right now because if they don't work out, it's a month from now. Yeah, they're released. <laughs> Nobody cares anymore. Yeah. But but I test drove it. it. It felt luxurious. It had all the options you would think. It had heated seats, he- heating steering wheel. You know, it, it felt the seats were really good, really comfortable bucket seats, bunch of power stuff. There's a lot of features on it that are also pretty cool, like um, blind spot alert. So it's got like a light oh, and, nice. the, and the mirror. It'll come on or whatever. And lane keep assist. Like I literally let go of the wheel. I was on the highway and you can see it goes to the edge and it would steer you back. And it just keeps steering back between oh, the lines. Cool. And there's there's auto um what is it, adaptive cruise control which my, the one that I test drove didn't have, but adaptive but my cruise my control. point was going to be with plug-in hybrids, you this car has about what they say about a ninety kilometer range on the battery alone, and that's at all speeds no matter what you well I mean it's going to be decreased as you go faster but the point is you can drive let's just say to to and from work every day for me maybe sixty kilometers in a day and never burn a bit of gas yep. none. and you keep doing that and you get the benefits of i don't know basically with an electric vehicle you don't have like a transmission and, and you know the whole end the transfer of energy to the wheels in the same way that you do with an electric car so the acceleration is instant going from zero to 100 kilometers an hour to get onto the highway it is incredibly quick because you feel back to your it's the quickest thing i've driven to be honest but it's gentle like, it's not like you're getting, it's not screaming at you or ramming or anything. It's like it's... a woman who knows how to have sex. <laughs> She's not screaming at you. <laughs> yes. You've had a woman scream at you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that's not what I was thinking. No. <laughs> wrong screaming, hole. But... Wrong, no, never wrong hole. Never wrong hole. I think I've done that once. <laughs> Always in the right hole. Always aim for the right hole. But... <laughs> there's, there's a hole on the right? And Depends left. on which way she's turned. It's true. <laughs> she got her side. We got her sideways, upside down, uh, top bottom. <laughs> this is the de- degeneracy version of the podcast. It is. It is. Um, is that why I'm here? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm a degenerate. A special guest, like Justin. I, don't know. I think for I'm... all the drinking. <laughs> 
what what do you think about getting like do you think would you even consider getting a hybrid or an electric for your next vehicle kind of thing yes yeah. now that i'm not doing baby photos now the catch is because what... you're not doing long distance driving right right because electric has always intrigued me but the distance was never long enough for me to get because I, I would do photos in brampton i would do photos in kitchener mm -hmm. and i did the Which, math yeah you could do one way trip but you exactly then you got to plug in at their, their house so, right mm -hmm. Kind of hard to do yeah. now that I'm not doing photos. The nice thing about it is, is my driving costs have went down. Of, of course, course, a lot. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, I still don't hit the... This isn't gay, by the way. I, just, I have nowhere <laughs> to lean. <laughs> I'm not touching him. It's a little gay. <laughs> That's all oh, it took. Rip. So... Um, <laughs> I, I, for whatever reason, I can never make the the 5,000 kilometer limit for an oil change. Yeah, as in... You want to go there right on the dot, 5,000? I, I, I used to. When I was young, okay. I used to think it's important. Now, I'll get to it. Sometimes I've hit six, whatever. Seven. It's not bad. Mm. It's not bad. Sometimes I try to double it and go for 10,000. I get scared. Just take a, take a <laughs> but, risk. But the thing about it is, is the... You need to get an oil change at this this kilometer, like uh, or the number date. or mm -hmm. the date, mm -hmm. and I'm always so far away from the date. It's oh, insane. Yeah. 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 But now I get closer. This winter could be the first time where I actually hit and pretty close up. to the date. Mm -hmm. The way it's going right now, it's going to be the middle of April, and I got to get it changed on May first. So that's like a three. That's the closest it's ever been. <laughs> it really depends a lot on how old your car is and, and other details about how. Yeah, because it's higher than five thousand for newer cars now, right? Yeah. It's like eight or ten. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know necessarily how critical it is. Of course, you should get your oil change because you will have of a course, major yeah. issue if you don't. But. Eh. It, it's especially if you do it for yourself. I guess it's not as significant as a cost every month. But if you're going to do it here around here, that's like fifty dollars in oil change. Forty-seven. Yeah. I when I moved away from the Wicked Witch of the West, who I'm no longer going to use the name on the podcast, and she called me. Yeah, <laughs> talk about friggin' scary. Let's hope she doesn't scary. watch Shoot the podcast. The podcast, and a few days later, she calls me. Oh God, uh -oh. <laughs> she knew. <laughs> you're busted. I don't know how, but she knew. Um, sitting in your computer, just sitting, just monitoring, what's he doing? Your, monitoring your hard drive. Nice. She's disappointed <laughs> in me. A lot of weird porn. No, <laughs> a lot I of stream it. I don't. I, I can't. I don't. I, I can't. I can't do it. it in my living room anymore because he's in my dining room. <laughs> it's true. I, I got a few good months of nice 4K well, porn. That, that and you have a girlfriend. <laughs> That too. Bonus. I can't do it when you're home because you know you're out in the living room on the computer. <laughs> I can't exactly w w watch it in my room. I always get afraid that I'm going to come out to something. Every day that I come home from work, I'm afraid it's going to be like one of those sitcom moments where I walk Justin's, in. Justin's going to have a ball gag in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and the strap on. <laughs> I got something just back there. <laughs> <laughs> what was the food was that? Uh, I had a ball gag in my oh. <laughs> uh, No, I just, it's, it stemmed from the one time that I came home when Bree was in your bed. And that's, that's the worst of it. But I'm thinking, what if, like, I come home at a pretty consistent time. If you know I yeah. go to work at noon, I'm going to be home, home at around 8. If you're naked at 8.30, you run a risk. You run a risk. It's a bit risky, yeah. Um... But still, there are times where I'm thinking, like, what if he's, I wrote a book. <laughs> <laughs> Tangent. And in the book, there's a scene, and I pictured it, unfortunately, happening between the two of us, because I could see it at some point happening. There's a character in the book okay. who dates this woman. She's a blonde. Her name is Tara. Okay. Do you get the, yeah. the symbolism? I got the symbolism. <laughs> and in the book, a character named David. I just broke a rule. I kicked the back. I know. Off. I saw it. it. Made me cringe a little. It's okay. Um, I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> it's fine. This is going to get a lot worse. Good junk, good junk. So, David and Tara, David's a little sexually inept. 
Okay. A little bit. So Tara shows him the way. And while she shows him the way, they get into some weird role play. What book are you writing? It's already uh, written, isn't it? No, that's a no. different book. <laughs> There's no characters named David or Tara in the book that you typed up for me oh. many years ago. I no, can't there, I can't remember. There is a wi- Justin has cried at one of my books. It's a good. Movie. Some of my writing has brought him to tears. Not was it, was it that bad? bad? No. <laughs> Why did it bring you to tears, Justin? It was very an emotional time for me. Very an emotional time for me. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing good. It's a very an emotional time for me. <laughs> um, anyways, in the book, they get some freaky role play stuff. And there's a scene where they engage in the very stereotypical schoolgirl. Mm. Well, actually, it's schoolboy and teacher. Oh. So she's dressed right. up as like a sexy teacher. Ooh. And they start doing math lesson or math questions. Why is this happening? I don't know why it's happening. <laughs> okay, they start doing math questions. They start doing math questions and. He starts to fail, so she leaves, and she's like, hold on, I'll be right back. Oh. She doesn't say it like that. She I'll says be right back. <laughs> with the strap on. With the oh, God. <laughs> Don't you forget about me. I'm coming for you. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Run! And the character of Jordan walks in, and it's dark, and David's naked, and then this girl who's dressed up as a school teacher comes back and she's naked. It's just, it's really awkward at the end of the day. Mm. And that scene is always in my head whenever I'm coming into my apartment. I'm thinking, if he's chained to his bed. To be chained to a bed, you have to have a headboard. Is True. It, is it just a mattress on the it's floor? A, it's a mattress and box spring on the floor. Oh. You could be tied. There's lots of things in Jesse's apartment to be chained to. I mean, is, is, with the old stove, his grandmother's I couch. I could have put the handcuff through the stove. That's true. You can't do. That I can't anymore. do that now. So, well, handcuffs are a nice thing. I got careful what I, I say. Preferred. See, I thought this was gonna be the St. Patrick's Day podcast, but this might be the BDSM podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the BDSM well, word. okay. What do you want to say about St. Patrick's Day? <laughs> I don't know shit about. <laughs> I thought it was just a, just a day when drunk people would clog up McDonald's and, and other fast food restaurants and make it intolerable to be there. The pretty first. Much. They would get shamrock shakes. Yeah, which are good. But they are good. Not, not when there's 30 drunk people in the fucking restaurant. No. It's, that's terrible. The first St. Patrick's Day in college, I didn't get drunk. I, I was, didn't die. I was with Tila. Explains and, a lot. And we were... <laughs> she didn't drink. <laughs> what? She didn't drink. No. And what we did, it was beautiful. <laughs> That day. Like, it's cold now. There's snow on the ground. It was sunny. It was like 24 degrees. Oh, my gosh. We were downtown. Not downtown St. Catharines. We were by the Penn Center, where all the student houses are. Mm. Jacobson Street. Yep. Yeah. There were, there were police called there already oh, today. Every year. Oh, today. Right. Every At year. At like 3 p.m., yeah. I got Twitter updates saying, stay away from Jacobson Street. <laughs> the police have been called. I, li- I lived just off Jacobson Street at one point in time, and I, I walked down there and said, Roof Street. parties? Roof yeah. party? Yeah. yeah. People, St. Patrick's Day, Till and I are walking down the street. She's getting hit on. I'm looking at the scantily clad women, and there's people partying on the roof. I've been on a roof. I was sober. I didn't like it. I wanted to get down. <laughs> Let me down. You, what? You've been on several roofs. I've been on a few roofs. You've been on my roof. You've been I've on been on this roof. You've been on a barn roof. That's the roof I wanted to get down from. That was a really high roof. That was a high roof? And I questioned the safety of that roof before getting on, but I was like, fuck it. Thanks for telling me. Why did you go on the roof? <laughs> to I mean, get a picture and a video. Man, that takes dedication. <laughs> It was, it was like 35 feet up there. It was, it was like high. It was roof. <laughs> like, no that was, way. It was way taller than a regular Like if you fell trails. off the roof, you'd have a few seconds to think about things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. But good news. I got a drone shot, basically. Oh, yeah. That's away. great. And they loved the photos, too. Absolutely. <laughs> they got more than they bargained for. They did not love the photos. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> um... <laughs> so yeah, we're walking and people are partying and it's fun and whatnot and it's great. And then we go to the pizza place. 
Kayla goes to the washroom. I'm sitting there waiting for the pizza. It's just drunk people. I'm thinking, I can't compete with these women. And all of a sudden... Well, they're drunk. I, I know, but I was short and... Yeah. Uh, you're golden if you're... Yeah, no, you're good. They're drunk. Yeah, I've had my share. <laughs> <laughs> it's been okay. We all have. If you think... If I, if I go back and look, it's been okay. I've had a fruitful career. Fruitful? Melons. Melons. <laughs> But we're in the pizza place, and it was like it was in a movie. One of my favorite moments ever. There's a woman eating pizza. She stands up to leave, and her friend pulls her tube top down. I was like, wow. She was just holding on to him before she stood up or something? She, I guess she went to stand up and her friend was like, uh-huh. Grabbed her. Oh. God bless Canada. <laughs> God, Because yeah. that's legal, right? God oh, yeah. Daddy's day. You wouldn't know it because she hiked it up pretty quick. But she didn't quite get it. Like, she went and then they went out. It was just, it was nice. It was nice. <laughs> Years later, A&W, Halloween night. Only about 150 feet from that spot. <laughs> okay. I'm sitting in my car waiting to start my shift, and I'm parked in front of a fence. And I'm thinking, this is going to be wild. There's so many sexy women coming to a and because it was party central. It was fun. Mm-hmm. I got flashed at a and a few times, too. I believe it. Somebody got a blowjob in the a and parking lot. That's using That onion probably rings. happened a lot. Using onion rings. I what? Yeah. Wait, wait, to, I, no, I'll get to that in a second. I'm sitting in my car. I like their onion rings, but I don't know. If <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd suck a dick for the onion No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just suck your dick for a Big Mac. So I'm looking, and all of a sudden I see a head pop up behind a fence. I'm like, huh? oh boy. And I'm sitting in the dark waiting to start. So I'm like, what the hell? And somebody jumps over the fence. I'm like, that's a sexy student. She's dressed as a student. Like, or no, sorry, not a student. That's the third one. And she wasn't really a student. Uh, she's dressed as a scarecrow. I'm like, I get it. Scarecrow. Be a sexy Wizard of Oz thing. Another one comes over. On St. Patrick's Day? Maybe it was Halloween. No, I did say Halloween. That's Halloween. It's Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween, yeah. Maybe I missed it. <laughs> okay. I'm sure I did. It'd be a weird costume for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> It'd be very weird. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going on. Hey, I was going to bring us jello shots and eggs today <laughs> it's true i found in, plastic in eggs plastic eggs easter well he couldn't yeah. find those little ketchup cups so he, <laughs> he goes and brings home friggin' these little easter eggs that they he put mini eggs in for children to hide i learned that you can stretch a ketchup cup open and it's a plate for ketchup you can yeah so you could fit extra ketchup you could yeah or extra jello shot extra wow it'd be a flat jello shot at that point <laughs> or a coach just be a pile it'd of be jello. like a Face full of <laughs> jello shot. So, Scarecrow comes over. Next girl that hops over. And I don't know why <laughs> she hopped over. Because the fence wasn't that long. It's a lion. I'm like, okay, I get it. It's going to be a Tin Man or it's going to be a Dorothy. Nice. Pigtails pop up. I'm Dorothy. like, oh, oh Dorothy. <laughs> Show me somewhere over your rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> she hops over. She lands, her skirt stays on the top of the fence. Oh, really? I've had so many moments that could be porn. It's amazing. (laughs) She freaks. I'm sitting there thinking, I don't think they fucking see me. They don't know I'm in my (laughs) car. (laughs) Like, I'm about to take off my pants. She (laughs) she, she takes her skirt off the fence and runs back around the fence. So she goes... Through the AW parking lot, all the way back. All the way back now, my question to the lovely lady is, okay. why didn't you do that first? What's with hopping the fence? If you're just getting... it's it's not that far around from where the AW exactly. is right, at the end right there at the fence. <laughs> so nice thong, beautiful buttock, buttocks. Yeah, bottom, bottom. I just heard Tila yell my name, and I'm not sure what to do. Or maybe it's the other Eric. It could be. It could be. Too many two of them. Freaking Eric's. Yeah, I know. But isn't there a gay Eric too? I don't know, Vagari. Oh, no, no, that's a, a gay, gay Jesse. Jesse. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, the talk of strap ons. There's no <laughs> confusion here. The dick's still on the no wall. confusion whatsoever. Um, so, the blowjob story there's two in a very short time period in AW. One okay. is a straight blowjob, one is a gay blowjob. Okay. A 
Okay. I, <laughs> I know these. <laughs> so the straight one, uh, there was a car. It was like 10 o'clock at night. These people came in or came through the drive through ordered their food, and then pulled up, and then they stayed there for hours. And we're like, uh, is somebody in there? Like, is it okay? Like, uh, I guess happened? I'll go take a look. Middle summer. Mm-hmm. 11 30 12 o'clock at night i walk towards the car and i realize the window's down because it might get hot if you're doing a blow job it might it gets very hot and i look in and they look at me and i look away quickly but i still stand by the fact that i saw a pyramid of onion rings on that guy's penis <laughs> No. But they were they were there for hours and they still had. Onions. I guess they, they still... were they were making out. They're like, let's try something fun. Cold onion rings. They vary so much in size. Like, how... <laughs> so like, penises. You could get yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, guess. you can have some that fit the dick perfectly. Hey, we talk about you a lot. So we're playing a game, and Jesse, you lost. Here's the reasons why. I am most likely to um, be included in every conversation while well, they're rude. Pours cheap vodka into Grey Goose to impress people. I can see that one. Knows how to use a fax machine. Fuck you! We're old. You, you do know how to use a fax that machine. That one's rude. Loses pants. That one's fair. That's that one's fair. very fair. That's fair. Leaves drunk friend on the street. That's personal. That's between you and me. Did I... This one... Sits at a stop sign waiting for it turned to green. Well, that's just the law. <laughs> and finally, that's rude. I don't know what that one is. is a fucking pushover. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh no. Remember how we said that women should be in the fields while we're doing a podcast? I think I think we need to get them on the podcast so we can fight this one out. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh my god. I guess it's just you and me now. Oh, I, don't, well, I don't know how we can top that. How, oh how many god. How many shots? You're on your third shot. I'm on my third shot. I mean, they're a good little size. How, how, what increment in which, how many do you get when you buy? You get a four pack. A four pack. For yeah. how much? Five dollars. It's not terrible. No, so, considering, we did the math inside the LCBO. 36 milliliters. Yeah. So we did the math. I think... Eight of them came to like eighteen hundred and some milliliters for ten dollars. You get a six pack, yeah, and it's a little over two thousand. Although, so, I don't want to do another Jello shot. <laughs> this is disgusting. Uh, One more. All right, I'm not doing any more than that. I will drink anything else but this. Anything else? Sure. Whiskey? <laughs> yeah, you got whiskey, rum, vodka. <laughs> is Chewbacca on the podcast? Chewbacca is on the podcast. <laughs> Hey, I have the vodka that went into the shots. Oh, my. Mm. oh that's bad. Hmm. My blood alcohol content is going to reach 0. 0.101 as of right now. <laughs> Congratulations. Which is probably about the same for you two, except you weigh a little more. So a little bit less. <laughs> um, what were we talking about before? Oh, right. Uh, Blowjobs with onions. Blowjobs, onion rings. Yeah. yeah, it'd be cold. <laughs> but you could probably, in the container of onion rings, make enough to make a pyramid. But, yeah, of of different differing sizes, but then like, how do you fit your mouth around the ones that are really, really I wide? I assume you're supposed to like munch them with a dick all the way back in your throat. That'd be hard. I, I don't know. Maybe you had a. <laughs> I just, I haven't done the math. I haven't had the should opportunity. Have, should have asked them how that was going. <laughs> do you need oh, an extra God. hand? <laughs> Wait a second. Do you, do you need you more? Should have asked them if they wanted more yeah. onion rings. Do you need more onion rings? You want me to freshen up your load? <laughs> do you need some more onion rings? I can get you some. Oh, no, wait. You're already getting some. <laughs> okay. The last one. Last blowjob story. Gay blowjob story. A little bit serious. Okay. A little bit awkward. Okay. Cleaning the restaurant. In the middle of the day. And I see, as I'm cleaning... These two, like, 16-year-old young guys sitting really close. Like, just a little bit too close. Like, this awkwardly close. It's very awkward, right? Yeah. A little bit. So I do a double take. And when I do a double take, they go... I'm like, that's odd. A little odd. Just a little weird. 
So I go to the go to the young kid that's working there, and I'm like, I didn't know them. I just, but how long have they been here? He's like, oh, they've been here a while. I'm like, okay. How long is a while? Like, have they ordered anything? No, they're just sitting there. I'm like, okay. So I go tell them. I'm like, you know, if you're going to order food, it's great, but you can't just sit here. Like, they're for paying customers. I've you know? never had anybody tell me that. Either. I'm a douche. Yeah. I followed the rules. That's <laughs> why so I'm such a success today. <laughs> because you follow the rules? <laughs> no, I break the rules. I am the law. Anyways, I am the except law. I'm a pushover, apparently. I'm but, you're a pushover. <laughs> so I say, you know, you gotta leave, order food. They're like, we're just waiting for a mom. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I go back to the kid who's working. I'm like, I have, a qu- I have another question. I'm like, are they? And he's like, yes. I'm like, okay. And then they leave. I'm like, Normal day. Scared two gay people away. <laughs> it's not important to the story. Well, it important. is. It is important to the story. I go back to business, and then I go back around the corner, and they're back there. And I'm like, uh... Oh, boy. Huh? Didn't you just leave? Didn't you just leave? And then I get up and leave quickly. Like, hmm. Where'd they go? So I go to the washroom. Oh. And I look, I open the door, and I look, and the sink's fine, the urinal's fine, the door to the toilet's closed. Mm-hmm. So I open up the door, and the seat's down, and there's footprints on the seat. Uh-huh. And I look around the toilet, and I just see, like, a sprinkler of teenage jizz going, tss, tss, tss. and I'm like, fuck. Uh. Yeah, so you gotta up. clean this up now. So I went back to the little kid working. I'm like, I have a coin in my pocket. And we're gonna flip coins for who's washing the washroom. It is the first and last time I've ever cleaned gay jizz off a bathroom floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I've never worked in the <laughs> service industry. <laughs> it was horrible. I had, a, I had a couple in the Tilsonburg A&W use honey as lube. That's not good lube. It no. would not be good. It's, it's like sticky. It's the opposite of lube. It <laughs> would not as bad you... as three dudes in the washroom wiping off white stuff off We did that. We face. did that, too. We did a stunt where Justin gets a pie to the face, and we had to go to the oh, washroom and clean it off. Cream, I think I've seen that before. Yeah. yeah. And then three men in the washroom going, <laughs> wiping off just white yeah. stuff. So, a lot of awkwardness. So, those are my two... Uh, two blowjob stories. I've been walked in while I've been walked in on while getting a blowjob. When and where? By who? A house party. Yeah. Well, that's that's the place where that would happen. At college. Yeah. Not at the house not, party. Wasn't at college. <laughs> it's house at party the college during the college years, and the wicked witch of the west was the one doing the blowing, or the <laughs> sucking. She probably blew at it. <laughs> <laughs> Get away! <sighs> No, <laughs> this this is bad. <laughs> this is terrible. In the Wicked Witch of the West, if you know who you are, I still appreciate. <laughs> I have to appreciate the everything phone calls. You did. Hey, you know what? After this, your attention to detail in your tax filing. <laughs> <laughs> After this, by the time this comes out, the taxes are going to be done. <laughs> so it's good. Oh, I hope. I swear, it's been the week of just. It's been the week of the exes. I hope mine doesn't contact me. I have a couple, I guess. But I have a few. I have one in particular that I hope doesn't contact me. Well, he's got a story. Talk about a millennial ex. A bl- okay. Mm-hmm. She was younger, right? She was younger. Well, <laughs> I believe she was a 93. So younger than you. Not, yeah, older, not by older much. Older than me. Older than you. Yeah. But that doesn't take much. No. So... We dated for a while. He made a mistake. Explain the mistake. You're here. There's honesty. There. I should get you to sign a waiver she after this. Sign a contract. <laughs> so I had a crush on this girl for a really long time. Finally got my chance. That ended. <laughs> <laughs> How did the chance go? <laughs> that, that, Leave it at that. Okay. Um, Good chance. Started seeing this other girl. You bunted. Um, 
it was going well. And then... I saw you quite a bit more. Yeah. And then the, 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 the crush started, you know, playing with my emotions a little bit. Or messing with my head, saying she wanted things that Sucking she probably his dick. Pro- that's one she, she did not do. <laughs> so I was playing with my my head, and my emotions. So I dumped the woman I was seeing to get back with her. That lasted. I think I've heard this story. Yes, before. You have. Yeah, not so long. Yeah. And then I hmm. got back with the woman yeah. that I dumped for the other one. It's just. <laughs> Circle is just not good. Need, <laughs> need like a council of people to like help you with your decision. I do. <laughs> and then so you I need finally a board of directors. <laughs> I broke up with this one girl. It's really for hard the, not using names <laughs> for the other one. <laughs> and then the the one just like blocked me. She wanted nothing to do with me. It's a good idea. So really. I, a I, I I understood because it was a dick move on my part. And then, ooh, she. Yeah. I just thought of something, but yeah. I, 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 I'll let you continue. Yeah, she she had a page on on Insta, on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You mean she uses Instagram? How weird! Yeah. No. And then she blocked me from that page. So Which good, is understandable. That's, that's how you do when you block. Yeah, yeah just you everywhere. can block on Instagram. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I've, I've done it. That explains so much. Yeah. yeah. Why I can't see certain people's Ex- pages. Exactly. Yeah. I was up seeing six months back or so. Six months back or so. I get this notification on my phone that that same page refollowed me, so they must have unblocked me. So I followed them back. So like, okay. If you're gonna be mean again. Um, Melissa is. Of this and we have um, we okay. finished the game. Um, Who won? Get your butt. But you had some here. extra, like, there was some extra in front of the cameras. In front of the cameras, get over here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. She's, look at her. Look at her festive gear. She's got all the green. It's We're definitely gonna get more views for cleavage. Yeah, yeah, please, sure. yeah. Can we? That's the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> thumbnail. There you. Oh, yeah. There you go. Done. Done. <laughs> Thank you for making this a successful podcast. I'm 100,000 also, views. I'm also a little drunk. <laughs> we'll Yo, join you soon. You're Yo, we got clickbait. We got Yo, lots we, of bait. We got clickbait. <laughs> lots of baiting to do later. <laughs> we got we got some baiting to do later. Read them. And this is about me. The, yeah, these are ones Why is you. why does Jesse get to play but I don't? Who wants that money for you? Easy. This is easy. Just is an easy target. We, oh. This isn't this isn't an insult. <laughs> Most likely to always make the executive decision. That you got that last time when we played. Yeah. Yeah. Why did your voice go so high? <laughs> Only talks about themselves. <laughs> That's rude. That is rude. <laughs> this entire podcast is about talking about other people. Always tells the same damn story. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, no. I will later. We were just talking about this on the way. Is pulled over for slow driving. (laughs) I will say it before and I will say it again. I have never, at the very least, totaled two cars. That's true. That's the way to drive slow. (laughs) Oh, you should probably learn to drive slow. You should probably do that. Or, you know, brace for impact a little better. I did. Yeah, your car, <laughs> and we're still seeing the side effects. Your your current go? your current vehicle that was replaced. What's it like closing your eye? Is it is it good? It never quite closes. It could be. Your current vehicle is not up to the safety standards of your old Toyota Corolla, so the next accident's gonna hurt a bit more. There's not airbags everywhere. No. Totally lost where I was. Um. Uh, Instagram blocked, okay, okay. followed. Okay, six months ago. Women are bitches. True. <laughs> not this, all women. Not all women. This is, oh, just no. the one in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Tila, so, not Melissa. I'm just saying. <laughs> Melissa, just a little bit. No, Melissa's fine. It's just she makes I think fun she, of you. I think she's over there. She tells it how it is. I think she's. That's right. She uses a certain word that I don't uh, particularly care for. <laughs> Melissa says. Yeah. Oh. That's like that's 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 really negative. You shouldn't say that. I won't say it. So six months ago, 
the page refollows me. So I follow the page back. Okay. It's like a shout out page. It's a what? A shout out. A shout out page. Yeah, so you send a picture in that, you know, all the followers can, oh, follow this guy oh, or like follow this girl. Exploits. Yeah. Follow them. So a picture of my ex and her new boyfriend who who is really? not Justin. Looks like me. Oh, he does too. Oh, it's I remember that guy. <laughs> it's that guy. He looks exactly. Yeah. Like you. Unbelievable. Unbelievably. Fuck. <laughs> Just so, some better tattoo choices. So I figure, you know, it's been a year. So I, year. I like the photo. Nice. Like, At about 5 a.m., I get a DM from her saying she slid right into his right DM. into my DM saying, "Please oh. refrain from liking any photos with my face in it." Um, so can, can we discuss your type for a second? Because <laughs> they are, yeah, it's like Justin 2.0. Justin 2.0? Yeah. Justin, who's the, Justin 2.0? That guy. Oh, the guy. Oh, can we discuss her type? Yeah. Her type is unbelievable. When people have a type, you don't often think about them dating twins. <laughs> no. Right? Like, Although that At the same time, that sounds quite the proposition that's what dating twins yeah i get confused it'd be really weird i like, had to be opposite. incest on the one end, but, but oh, it depends on if you do it all together if you date twins and they don't find out about it it's okay what if you didn't know you were cheating i'm <laughs> sure there's stories out there where a twin yeah, would like I'd swap house keys bang each other's wives i've heard I, what if twins dated twins Jesus Christ. Right? <laughs> That's like wife swap, but like with nobody knowing. Nobody what knowing what's happening. going on. I mean, come on. I'd be went... so many so many things were like, oh, I made you this special meal for dinner. It's like, I hate that. It's like, I thought you loved nope. that. Nope. What? I went to school with twins who would, when they were younger, switch places. They couldn't do it when they were teenagers because one, for whatever reason, got fat. Hmm. That throws off. You whole could vibe. tell the difference. Yeah. The, the high school twins. Do you know? <laughs> Last name start with an S. Weren't they twins, or they're just sisters? This is oddly specific to our exact upbringing, and not to anybody else's. Yeah. Referential knowledge. Last names start with S. I think you gotta give me something more than that. Okay, I, I think the full last name. No. That would be not good. There was there was two identical twins that were in, in my grade in high school, and all they, they never really pulled any tricks. They just both went out and smoked weed during class, and and would come back really high. <laughs> in fact, one of them actually managed to smoke weed in class, which was quite. Oh, they weren't identical twins. No, no, and oh, one okay. had a one had a tooth problem. If they smiled, you could tell the difference. It was little, One's little tooth, little. like almost like there was some sort of like pre-birth surgery. <clears throat> But it couldn't be done because it was Tilsonburg. Fetal t- tooth surgery is the thing. Right, it's not. It's not it's a almost thing. like she fell and got tobacco stomped. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's because we grew up in tobacco county. We, we, we grew up in tobacco tobacco county. I I still every time I drive through Tilsonburg, I just want to How often do you drive? Twice. Yes. I still, every time I drive, I twice. Want, I want to get out in a tobacco field and just grab tobacco. Well, come with me next it, week. Dry it and smoke it. Well, there's no tobacco. Exactly. Right. It's the winter time. <laughs> so it's a, come back in like April, May. Yeah. When, when there's, April. I, I feel like tobacco season is probably like July. Pickens in the August. Yeah. So... Yeah, no, I want to grab me some tobacco if you're ever near there, and I, I would like to dry it. <laughs> I'm just going to prime it make, myself. You know what? Make a cigar. I'll go to my cousin's tobacco farm. There it's not stealing. It's family. It's family. I don't <laughs> think, there's so much of it. I don't think that they care. It's well, like they stealing care. corn. Oh, they care. Really? They care. Oh, yeah. But it's just, there's no fence. Oh, they care. They care. There's, I, I, I'm driving along the road. Have you ever been attacked by a guard dog? They no. Care. They <laughs> care. They don't have a guard dog by the side of the road. <laughs> No, Look, you you're driving on the road and you can just see for the next two kilometers that way. There's a field and oh yeah, tobacco. Oh, yeah. There's no way for them to find out. No, and no. nobody, especially if it's only a couple. They're of not leaves. gonna care. You know what? 
to picking to picking tobacco to picking tobacco <laughs> was the best learning experience I had because I realized that manual labor isn't for me. Really, at the end of the day, no, because I did it literally. I did it for a few days. Yeah, that's it. A few days. It's, it's really, not for me. It's no, 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 no. If anybody's gonna know what it's like, it's gonna be me. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, is guys like us don't get to do it anymore. Do you know why? Offshore. Because you're white. We're white. Oh. I'll go to the Jamaicans, and that's fine. I don't want to do it. Offshore workers. I grew up in a family of tobacco farmers. My grandfather, tobacco farmer. Oh, tough, tough guy. Ah, oh, you could probably push a tractor if you wanted to. My father, tobacco farmer, funeral director, great thing. I want to be an artist. Like, just very different type of work. <laughs> um, you should get sponsored by tobacco farmers. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Before. Let's get sponsored by tobacco. Lakeery Farms. So. Hit us up. Yeah. So, I do the tobacco and do it as a favor. I'm like... I don't want to, because manual labor is not for me, but I'm not going to get another opportunity. It's in my blood. Let's try it. Pick it for less than half a day. They're like, we need you. I'm like, why? They need you? They need me. I'm like, for, why? The, for the white quota. Why do you need me? I'm like, we need you in the sorter. Oh. Like, I'm, I'm not even good at manual labor. They want me to pick leaves. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you could have been on the planter. I could have been. No. Uh, I mean, talk, talk about manual labor uh, one summer our parents this is um, I don't know if I ever told them this but I doubt my father listens to this if you do the secrets are coming out sorry <laughs> See, to, he already found out about the alcohol we stole and replaced with water it's okay <laughs> um, <laughs> we were very frightened yes so one summer another big industry in Tilsonburg uh, is corn to tasseling Good money. Yeah. Very good money. Okay. And one summer, Justin, unemployed as per usual, except for the future, he, he, he killed a job interview. I killed a job yeah. interview for that. Killed a job. Did they give you the job? No. Not on the he spot. He didn't kill it that much. I have a 50% chance. It's more than 50% <laughs> chance. More than a 50% Interviewing chance. like six people, open spots are like three. Not bad. Four. I... Four. This this might be burning a bridge that I don't want to burn. Eric has never not got a job yeah, that like, he's interviewed. I for. literally I got a job. Well, okay, I applied for a job, got an interview, <clears throat> at a place that is the most ideal place that I could be working, except for money and certain mm. other things. Strip club. No, certain other reasons. Could I didn't, you imagine? I didn't want to choose there. But basically, the, 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 the owner said to me that you know, Floppy the, the owner said to me that <laughs> I could basically a, a contact him again in like a week ask if I got the job. And I was like, that's weird. Why wouldn't they contact me? So I just didn't contact him because I figured I'm going to stick with my current job. I like what I'm doing. It's good. Mm -hmm. And and he he messaged me like a month and a half later and he's like, could you resend your resume? And I was just like, <laughs> no. No, I'm okay. No. I'm good. I'm good. I, I would love to be doing that job, but it's not right now. The only job that has ruined my my always got the job quota um, was a video editing job that was full time. I do remember this when you talked about this. It was a good paying full time video editing job. It would have solved almost every financial problem that a modern person would have. And the only reason why I lost it was because somebody came in even though the salary was already in place, and said, I will do it for this. Or less. Okay. For less. Undercut. Less. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I was like... I'll do it for $3 less. No. Fuck. He... The, it was... The job was what? 40... Was it 42000 or something? Forty two to 45000 okay. He said, I'll do it for thirty. How do you compete... Oh you my can't. god, that's not worth competing you for. Can't. But he didn't thirty dollars an hour. That's like a sixteen dollars an hour full time no. job. I, I don't I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess we have to do some that math now. I will do it for twenty five. How many drinks and a you? case of beer? And a case of beer. <laughs> Are you still on your first drink, Jesse? No, I refilled it. Uh, I will do it for forty five an hour. Oh, I guess that that was that was full at some point. Are those good margaritas? Pre canned. 
margarita. I mean, it's not with tequila, though. Yes, it is. This is these it? are. It would have to be with tequila to be a no, margarita. No, it's, I thought it was with vodka. No, there is tequila. There is vodka. It's a weird mix. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Episode three. Yes. The podcast just finished. It's airing in a few days. And by a few days, I mean you're getting wet. I don't care. <laughs> Good girl, oh, it's refreshing. <laughs> it's refreshing. All this talk about BDSM, I'm already there. Stop. I'm switching to <laughs> into the camera. Um, okay, I'm an actor. I don't care. So tequila has to be made in, in Mexico, Mexico. Yes, with the agave plant. There's cheaper I, ways of doing. I it. I was somewhat convinced that that was the truth. Just yeah. like how you can't get champagne unless it's France or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, and. Since I researched it this week, just because the Broadway show opened up, five hundred and fifty million dollars is Jimmy Buffett's net worth. Wow! Wow! <laughs> like wow. that's just his assets alone, not his. That's Jimmy Buffett net worth. Fuck! Oh my All God. because he's wasting away again, again in Margaritaville. I, <laughs> on your suggestion, because you said that you liked some of his other work when I was listening to whatever. You're going to learn on your way to Florida. Whatever podcast I listened to, I, I you. remember you said that. Like the I, third one. I went through the third one. So I was I was editing the sound. Except for the African album. And, and you said you liked his other work. I went and listened to a lot of Jimmy Buffett's other work. Are you going to insult my liking? No, it's better than about. Margaritaville. Absolutely. Mar he admits. In fact, he just released... Which is funny, for the first time ever, he said, I wrote, it took Margaritaville, it took me 12 minutes to write. Hmm. Six minutes was in, uh, like, Texas or somewhere, and six minutes was in Key West. He's like, if I didn't board a plane to Key West, it would have been wasting away again in Texasville. <laughs> Is he being serious or facetious? 100% serious. Wow. Is there Texas? Is Texas a town? I have no friggin' idea. Well, let's find out. So when you think about it, just something like that where you're thinking... Is Margaritaville a town? No. no. It's, it's a bunch of restaurants. It now it's a retire... Uh, sorry. It's active a living well, community. I, I know that it's a no, chain, a chain of things, but where did he get the name from Margaritaville? He just made it up? I okay. guess. Right. It was a good... Make it was a good mix of words when you think about it. They gotta come. They gotta have an airport down there or something in the key. Texasville is a 1990 drama. Okay, so Texasville has been used. It might not have been, anyways. Like just something well, like that. Jeff Bridges was in it. Key West Jeff was in it. Jeff Bridges was in it. Key West is a lovely place, <laughs> and I'd, I'd like to go there because I want to go so bad. We're not going there for a Florida vacation. I figured something out about myself. What's that? No, keep going. But okay. I, I was, was going to say, Fort Lauderdale is the closest airport that you would go to in order to go to Key West. You have, you have to drive for like four still hours. Hike. It's still hike. forever. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll you'll get your pilot license and we'll just fly down to Key West. Here's the problem. If I was to get a pilot license, I'd get a helicopter license. That's my dream. I don't care that much about planes. I'd like a helicopter. I have a dream. Do you? And I've had this dream for a while. I'm not Martin Luther King. No, not the right pigment. <laughs> Too pale. <laughs> Too pale. And not as influential. It's true. I have always thought one day owning a tropical resort. I've heard this dream several Many times. times. Yeah. Yeah. And every so often I get thinking, screw it. I don't like my job though. I could help you build it. What I know. was your job? I know. <laughs> the maid in a French maid's <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Cleaning Look, the room. If, if you need contractors to do things, I know people that are pretty good at just about everything. I've got a good support staff of white people. It's yeah. good. <laughs> I mean, I'd be good at rocking the French maid outfit. No. I rock that. French maid? Well, oh, yeah. If it's a private island and it's, it's near a, a Hispanic <laughs> country, I mean, what we probably need Spanish staff. Well, no, my mentality was, is you hire white management. Sure. White bartenders, with respect, because I think that it's not as... This is bad. All men. Patriarchy, right? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. That's the way it is. <laughs> Anyways. It's went from BDSM <laughs> to racism. Not racism. <laughs> Only casual. And sexism. And sexism. sexism. All in one go. Oh, 
Like, and happy St. Patty's Day. Like, Justin would be the mayor of <laughs> St. Patrick. Racism, sexism, and pa- And Irish bigotry. I think that camera stopped. It's still recording. You see the red circle? What type of videographer are you? <laughs> The 60D is in fact Okay, I should mention that it has special software on that restarts it automatically. Okay, that's what I saw. (laughs) I just saw the screen that I normally see when it starts recording. Um, So no, I I just picture that with my luck, because I have somebody who I know who's like, you've lived a very interesting life. You have a lot of stories. I'm like, I do. Who said that? Was it me? No. Okay. You. I mean, people... I I think I've said that. People said it, yeah. But I think it's really egotistical to write an autobiography so young. Yes. It is. Well, I, if you're going to die in like a year, then it probably will And make you sense. never know. Then, really then it'll be really so well-timed and people will love it. Oh, yeah. That cancer. You should have an it's autobiography always pretty much ready to publish. I have notes. Desktop well, on my computer. If anything happens, I got notes. Is that part of your will, that we have to write you a biography? No. Making <laughs> yeah. the biopic might be... <laughs> And it has to be starring Kevin James as Justin. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and Leonardo is DiCaprio it was I'm Jesse. Fat. No, it's because you're a bad actor. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Um, Kevin James, just don't watch. <laughs> Kevin James is watching. Kevin James is slide watching. into Justin's DM. Hit me up. <laughs> He's lit. Uh, Litmus. Um, so... People are like, or somebody has said, you should write these down. I'm like, I take notes, but it's too egotistical to write an autobiography because I don't have the wisdom that comes with it. That's I true. don't have anything to really say besides stories. So I'll implement stories into books that I write, but I'm not going to write my autobiography. But then I got thinking, where do I get the most writing done? And when do you write an autobiography? Page for page, the most writing I get done is in the tropics. Yeah. I, I wrote, when we were in Cuba, like 45 pages. It's not bad. In a week. That's, that's pretty good. That's not bad. And most of it is good. Even the alcohol didn't stop the creativity from flowing. Good to hear. How many spelling mistakes, though? It's spell check, bitch. <laughs> 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 when I see that red line underneath, I correct. What's the application that Apple uses on the iPad? Because you were an iPad, weren't you? Microsoft Word. Okay. It's Microsoft right. gave me, for a limited time, a free full version of the mobile Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, That's and good. PowerPoint. I'm, I'm kind of curious if the Android one is the same as the iPad one, because I know for a fact that I've always found that OS X and the Windows version, like, they're very different, I would say. But maybe the mobile versions are more similar. Oh, it screws me up. I'm using the Windows computer at work to do my editing mm-hmm. on Adobe Premiere. I keep canceling everything because the OK is where the cancel is on Apple. Oh, really? So I click cancel all the time. <laughs> and then I think it's exporting. Like, where did it go? <laughs> and then I go back and I'm like, why didn't it export? You just got to remember all the short keys and then you can just I export by key. Yeah. But, um, so no, I figure what's going to happen is I'm going to get old, thankfully. And then something tragic is going to happen. I'm going to lose a wife. Okay. Okay. Bad this news. gets very dark. Bad news for Melissa. Bad, Bad news for <laughs> Melissa. Sorry, Melissa. Melissa! Rip. They're watching Nicki Minaj. Rest in peace! Anaconda. Half Catholic. My Anaconda down. My Half- Anaconda down. Half Catholic. Half Catholic. There we go. <laughs> so, I am... I am- <laughs> Are, are you both half Catholic? No, I'm fully Catholic. I'm fully Catholic. I'm half Catholic. I spend money like a Jew, but I'm fully Catholic. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, so something tragic is going to happen to my wife. And one day I'm going to be like, I'm going to go. I sell everything. My kids are like, don't go. I'm going to go find a sexy 23-year-old Cuban wife oh. or Jamaican why, wife. Okay. Why Cuban Why Jamaican? Cuban, really? Cheap. Jamaican, fine. <laughs> Cheap. But. I said I'm Jewish. <laughs> you gonna buy a woman? No, we just pay for everything. Then she'd be Russian. She'd be Russian. A mail order bride? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I buy a cheap tropical. Not buy a cheap tropical wife. <laughs> nice. No, get a cheap trop. Not a cheap. Okay, get a tropical wife and just live in the islands. You're drinking my she rum could, every day. She could teach you Spanish. Yep. Writing Good. my memoirs, losing my hearing. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fine. 
It's a pretty good way to do it. It is. Yeah. And then after my memoirs are done, I'll be happy. Get rid of her. As we get rid of her. <laughs> I'm done with I'm you. I'm done with you now. You're free. You're free. I met somebody through work who did it. He's an old guy. He moved to Cuba. Moving to Cuba... That sounds like a really hard thing to do. A lot of Canadians do it. The problem is... You need to... You can't buy property as a Canadian. No. So you have to get a family. You have to get somebody. So he did find a 23-year-old cutie. A Cuban cutie. Lovely STD riddled, but a Cuban cutie. (laughs) I learned a lot of things. Because after I talked to this daughter of this guy, I'm like, I research it because... Maybe I'll just move to Cuba. It's a hell of a process. It is. Yeah. So he went. He owns property in Cuba through her, which means you're trusting her a lot. Mm-hmm. True. Because while his name is on the on the property, if something happens, she gets the property. She gets the word. Yeah. He's paying her his retire his uh, his CPP his pension plan. How can you you can claim Canada pension plan while being a citizen of Cuba? He's not a citizen. So he goes back. He goes back. The pension plan makes her like the wealthiest Cuban. Oh wow! In I believe it. Yeah. In a good radius. I, 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 I'm still kind of curious. Are they still bullshitting when they told us that the bars over the windows in Cuba are a stylistic choice as opposed to a? a When when you do reading, the problems with Cuba like. Everything that you read, be it travel books or even history books, nowadays, they are a friendly culture. Pretty good, yeah. But they are poor. Yes. And sometimes by nature, I've had it happen. I've had an iPod stolen. They do what they have to do. Sentenced to death if they get caught. Yes. Stealing an iPod from a tourist. I always <laughs> think I always think it's funny. Because the friggin' Cuban stole thinking, geez, I'm going to get some just hip, hip uh, North American music. He listens... What the hell? Margaritaville. Son of a bitch. <laughs> like, just all the tropic. Bob Marley? If I wanted this shit, I would have went to the bar. Somebody is here. Somebody just rang the doorbell. And I think somebody's going to answer the door for us so we don't have to get up. That's a good idea. Yeah. Somebody the police get the door. I hope, I hope it's Alice and Faith. Alice and Faith. Forever, yeah, it's been an hour and 13 minutes. Lesbians! Who is it? There's no lesbians? Oh, really? Hey! Hey! Hey. I was the first one. We were the the first ones. That's neither Alice nor Faith. That's a Ripsky. I can't help but be a little disappointed. (laughs) A little disappointed the lesbians are here. I'm glad that nobody is aware that we're shooting a podcast. (laughs) How do you pretend to be a lesbian? Can I see your vagina? That might be a problem. Whip it out. out. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever done that? Tuck, your, it? tuck yeah. your vagina. Tuck no. your vagina. How do you tuck your vagina? <laughs> tuck your... It's not big enough. <laughs> Never? What would be no. the function of doing that? Stylistic <laughs> Messing around in the mirror? I, don't know. I mean, if you've got an erection that you don't want to have at the moment, you can tuck it in your waist belt. Like, I've yeah. done that before. Yeah. I have too. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a reasonable thing. Grade nine. That, that was my entire grade nine, yeah. Pajama you have day. your own Big Mouth moment. Pajama day. Have you seen Big Mouth? Yes. Like four times. I've watched some of it. It's, it's not bad. <laughs> I've watched it like four times. If they times make a season longer. two, I'm going to watch them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Grade nine. Math class. Morning. Pajama day. Why they would do pajama day in grade nine, I don't know. That's just asking for... Oh, bonus. it was. Yeah. I get a unintended erection. <laughs> In math class. <laughs> and we'll say... <laughs> math gets me hard. <laughs> no, math is hard, and that gets me hard. Oh, quadratic equations. <laughs> and bed mass. Ooh, bed. Ooh, Ooh. bed. A mass in bed. <laughs> With the woman next to me. Oh, integral. <laughs> actually, actually, high, I, sc- high school math. Parables. I think high school math only did calculus. God damn. Calculus. Stop kicking in the fucking microphone. <laughs> Algorithms. <laughs> Algebra. Trigonometry. Oh, can baby. Can we still go away or can we, like, eat? Go fucking eat. I don't care. Go eat. 
You've already been interrupted. So, go. This is definitely the best podcast by <laughs> far. Anyways. This is just conversation. Um, We're going to enjoy it. Maybe nobody else will. But. Unplanned boner. Unplanned. <laughs> unplanned boners. You know, I, I've checked my calendar. I'm okay to have a boner at about 9 o'clock, and, and that's how it is. You got 17 minutes? We all gonna text our ladies if like I've got an unplanned boner. Let's do it at nine o'clock. All right, I'll set a timer. <laughs> set a timer. Set a text timer. our ladies, unplanned boners. I, I'm pretty sure I know what, what my response is. I've got an erection. Be. What's yours an erection? Be? She's probably just gonna tell me to leave this and we'll see. I'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Go home with St. Patty's Day with my failed Irish accent. Um, Got so, some smitten off ice in math class. Unplanned erection, and I'm thinking. <laughs> Alice, Alice said that she's gonna be late because that's who I am. That's <laughs> who. That makes sense. But Man, I love that. Those can't get it. late. They can't get late. No. How's they can't that? get pregnant, so it can't be late. Oh my god. <laughs> Sperm donors are a thing. That's true. Thank God. I'm glad they asked me. <laughs> who wouldn't <laughs> want my children? <laughs> who asked you? Oh, you, they did. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, apparently I'm the pinnacle of their children's beauty. I <laughs> I realized that I had made a terrible decision when I <laughs> cho- <laughs> just chose my university because... Brock? Yeah. <laughs> terrible. Terrible decision. Woo! Guelph <laughs> University Lesbians. is right beside a sperm donor clinic. Oh, God. And I realized I could make bank by donating sperm if I went to Guelph University. <laughs> Jesse is answering the door. Oh. Who, who is... Not the lesbians. No? Uh, Sorry. Hey, Andrew. I can try to do it. here, though. Not Let much. me see your vagina. <laughs> what about oh, your no. vagina? I mean, I like vaginas sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. I, there's a story about that, but I'm not going to tell it. That's his own personal business. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh unplanned boner math class. And I'm thinking, nobody can know. Nobody can tell. <laughs> I'm playing boners all throughout high school. Well, yeah, but not with pajama pants. No, I went to a Catholic high school. It was all dress pants. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking nobody notices. But your desk, you can't really like shit. If I have to get up pre- to present something, I didn't get it's up, not going to be good. But then I see somebody like over there look at her friend, also the only black guy in my grade because it was Tilson Burke. Yeah, I had like four of them in my school. Turns at him, looks at him, smirks, and looks back. I'm like, uh, I just he noticed. Knew. She noticed. noticed. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nobody said. Probably because it was not that impressive. And, uh, white. Yeah. <laughs> Caucasian. Caucasian. Moderately endowed. It does the job. I don't look good naked anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I make Danny Tanner proud. <laughs> You're a clean freak? No. <laughs> as much as this is fun. It will be fun later when we stop this podcast. We go hang with everybody else. It's true. And also, this is getting so off the rails that it's ridiculous. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, I gotta at least finish this drink, though. Okay, so when you finish this that drink, it's time to go. I think it's time to end it. Yeah. Now, finish the drink. How long has it been? It's been an hour and 20 minutes. Okay. So I think we're pretty close to the hour and 30 track. I'll finish track. the drink, and I'll chug this. We'll end it, and you'll be good. Finish cool. another one of your shots. We I'll should, have three we should talk left for the rest of the night. Something that's a bit more of a story plan. Something about what's been going on. Because something funny had to happen on the way to the podcast. Uh, as per last week, silence from the gentleman with the not good business plan. I forgot to text him. That's oh, fine. Right? I don't think anything's going to become of that anyway. I'm go- I will send him a message and I'll be like, I just it's not for me. I'll be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. But... Something happened today. He added me on Facebook. Oh, okay. boy. Which means that I'm on his mind. And he's still interested. Pardon? He's still interested. In and I got a before. message. Yeah. He's like, hello. <laughs> We're all British now. I haven't heard from you for a while. I haven't heard from you for a while. And I'm just wondering if my ideas still have your gears going. Is that the way he worded it? As if they ever did. And... I was thinking, 
I fucking need an engine check because my gears are so far from going. It's, it's <laughs> not good. My, my my gears are still locked up. Like it's it's not good at all. My gears and I need still some stand oil. by from last week. So I will send him a message. Send it to him on Monday. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I could be wrong. There's a chance I'm wrong. If he can truly make more money than the ad revenue on the internet, Ma'am. I'm wrong. And I will kick myself if I'm wrong. If I really yeah. don't think I'm wrong. That's I really a, don't that's think like, I'm that's wrong. That's like a trillion dollars probably. Well, I know. Could you imagine you're sitting in a room with a trillionaire? With the richest oh man on the planet. <laughs> 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 Bow down, bitches. Only, only surpassed by Vladimir Putin. <laughs> him and I golf. <laughs> what are golf buddies? <laughs> we are Russian. We are Russian. We golf buddies. Um, so no, I could be wrong, but I'll tell him. I just I'm dealing with my own business. I don't really have time. I don't like the payment structure because a quarter of a trillion dollars later is worth a lot less than a paycheck today. Yeah. Well. Well, I mean, it's no, worth it's, a lot more. It's not, but okay. <laughs> okay, the offhand chance that you get that a, it could that you get a possibly get happen ten billion dollars five years in the future. What are the odds? No, it's it's not there. right. If somebody said there is a fifty fifty chance you'll get ten billion dollars in ten years, I'll take it. I will take the chance. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. If somebody says I've got a not good idea. That I've invested a decade in my life of. Mm -hmm. Decade of my life in. And BlackBerry wants to buy it. And it could be worth trillions. I'll take my chances Mm -hmm. and not go with him. I was so pissed. (laughs) So pissed. (laughs) You should send me to one of those interviews. It'd be a lot of fun. I got a notification, probably, about the thing that's happening. Oh, no, it's telling me to make coffee to, for tomorrow morning, which I'm, I'm not going to do. Make not coffee for coffee. tomorrow morning? Wait, I got one of those coffee makers that you can time, so you could just make it, and then you press the button, and then it makes itself at 6.20 in the morning. That's nice. Yeah. That is nice. I you never do one? it. Never. No, I have, I have my own Keurig. It's... It's handy. Keurig, that's a yeah. that's a fancy thing. Yeah. It does. You wouldn't I think a, Justin's fancy. I have a twenty dollar twenty five dollar coffee maker. But he, he every day gets out of his Rolls Royce, he drinks his Keurig. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can buy I don't know if a Rolls Royce. Probably, probably like a nineties Rolls Royce for like a pretty like maybe like ten grand or something really affordable. Can I hop out of yeah. my and sixties I, Corvette? I even went sixties Corvette. Just this morning I went to Kijiji and looked at Porsche to see what I could get. And for between ten and fifteen thousand dollars, you can get an old Porsche Boxster or a Cayenne from like the early two thousands, no problem in that price range. Really? Yeah, with some of them with as low as like one hundred twenty thousand kilometers on it. Here's the problem: if you need to do any maintenance on that, you're kind of screwed. Oh, it's yeah. going to be really expensive. But you can drive around in a Porsche for basically as much as a Chevy Cruze or mm. less. I'll take like a, a Miata. A Miata? That's a sports car, right? You want a Miata? A Mazda Miata is a sports car, technically speaking. It's but the, it's like the curling of sports. It, I, I know, I know. To be fair, for I'm the guessing, Mazda, the know, Mazda Miata is it, loves. It, it, it is it is a sports car, but it's considered a girly. Okay, sports car. I say. Yeah. We finish the podcast. Yeah. About five minutes after nine, so okay. that way we can send everybody. What were we going to say? Something about an erection. Oh, we have we have I, I have a massive erection, and we will read what they say on camera, and that will end it. I can mean, I? My, can we send that right now so we get the answer sooner? My sure. lady's at work, so okay. you never know what's going to happen. Oh my god! If you don't have an answer, then that's fine. I'm going to send mine. I don't want to say massive. I'm going to do it. I feel like it's a lie. Mm-hmm. I have a moderate. I have a moderate erection. I've already sent massive. What did you say? Massive. Can I see? Not your erection. <laughs> you don't want to see my erection? Massive. I'm going to say I have this a massive... This is almost as bad as texting our ladies their vagina name. Oh, we did your vagina name, Eric. My vagina name? Yeah. We found this post on Instagram. It was the initials of your name. Hold on, I'll Make go back and find it. Your vagina name. I, I sent... I have a massive erection right now. Can you help me with it? Question mark. <laughs> What'd she say? That's unfortunate. 
Okay, Eric. <laughs> yes. E.G. Your vagina. That's my initials. Is named Fluffy Dungeon. <laughs> There's a second part. I'll take it. <clears throat> Did Jesse slip you some of his pills? <laughs> I don't use them anymore. <laughs> Apparently, she thinks the only way you can get a massive erection is through pills. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> I don't need pills. Neither do I. It is wonderful to not need them. <laughs> oh. What did, what did Tila say? Oh, God. Maybe. What type of help? <laughs> Go with it. Um, Go obviously, with it. they're not talking about it because Melissa said, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I am so turned on right now. I want your. I I'm. Can't. What was it? Whisker biscuit. <laughs> whisker. I need your I whisker, need you whisker whisker biscuit. biscuit. I, I said an arm and leg might help. A leg. Well, if you spread them. Have you ever? No, my my poor girlfriend's vagina name was Chubby Lunchbox. <laughs> 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 okay, so Justin and I, we say we're gonna send. We have to say I need your blank. Mine was like fantastic whisker biscuit. His was chubby lunchbox. <laughs> I send mine. I'm like, I want to, I want to do your fantastic whisker biscuit. I, I get a reply. I want to do your your chubby lunchbox. I get a reply back saying there ain't gonna be our whiskers on it for too long. <laughs> he gets a reply back saying, "Excuse me." <laughs> she, she got all offended. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Melissa says, LMFAO, can you come help with this problem? Um, <laughs> what she said. This is also very true, but also with that statement, I feel it didn't come from you. <laughs> I don't need pills. Don't I'm need all pills. natural. I'm all natural. This erection, 100% gluten-free. <laughs> I don't know if gluten inhibits or, or helps with erections. <laughs> I'm, I'm the... Eat a bunch of gluten, get turned on. You know what? Oh my gluten doesn't turn me off when no, I eat bread. I like, I like bread. I like bread. I like good. bread. Um, bread is... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. She says, you do know we can hear you, right? Well, yeah. Well, obviously. That's the entire point. That's the entire well, point. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Whisker biscuits! Chubby lunchbox! <laughs> and a cavernous hole for Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta do your penis name. Oh, Ours right. were horrible. Okay. Horrifying. Horrible. Let's end on the penis name. Okay. Note. I'll get yours first because ours are ours so bad. bad. Is, you think mine's gonna be any better? Yes! <laughs> really? Yeah. You can't go worse than ours, since we have the same Ugh. initials. We do. <laughs> why? Why does? Why do you have Jesse's initials on your hat? <laughs> <laughs> same initials. That is Taylor. a thing that has been said. Fair. Same initials. <laughs> same initials. Same initials. But if you did your middle name, it'd be different. It would be different. J M D J F D. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, Eric, you want to know your penis name? Yes, I do. Then, cheers it up. <laughs> this was fun. Here's an empty can. You can't cheers an empty can. I can't cheers this glass if you don't want a mess. It's, it's got I a... like a mess. No. I don't like a mess. What's my penis name? What's your penis name? Drink up. We chugging this now? Mm -hmm. I'm not chugging my shit. Fuck that, I just poured it. <laughs> So much <laughs> dead air, dude. <sighs> no, there's gulping. And boring. I made sure of boring. There you go. Eric, would you say yeah. that when you look in the mirror okay. at your penis, have you ever done that? Not in the mirror, because I can see it without a mirror. Uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know That's you've reached the level of fatness that you can't return from. I you turn my, down. I haven't seen my penis in five years. I ain't seen my feet since 1984. <laughs> and I was born in 92. That sucks. <laughs> That's what Asians <laughs> say. I can't say it yet. 
I shouldn't have chugged that. Well, have fun with that. Whew. <laughs> Eric. Yes. What's my penis? <laughs> What's my penis? <laughs> Eric Gervais. For one million dollars, your penis. I don't know why there's a dollar amount. Your penis is named. Pleasure Punch. Pleasure Punch. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That is an entirely acceptable name for it. Are you ready to reveal I, what I wanna, our name I want to see if this list is ours as well. JD. Aww. Is it different? Probably not as good as a pleasure punch. I will say J, you say D. Our penis name. And we should say that for our entire life, and I have great straight sex. Unbelievable, Unbelievable straight sex. Better or worse gay sex? I've never had gay sex. I've never had gay sex. Ever. <laughs> Never. Okay. What's your penis? The closest I've had to gay sex is seeing another penis. True. That's a... That makes me gayer than some, but definitely not gay. Okay. You know what? In my high school, nobody got naked. I watched a gay porno once. <laughs> I've always had a problem with porn. I'm sorry. But I agree 100% with George Carlin. I've seen a lot of it. My parents owned an adult shop. So we've seen porn. Really? Yes. I you didn't... never knew that? No. no yeah. Okay, we gotta at least mention this. So they owned an adult novelty shop. Okay. Interesting facts about an adult novelty shop. First off, guess who the number one purchaser of penis enhancing products are? Priests. Wow, this turned <laughs> really dark. Black gentlemen. Oh, what? They yeah. have to live up to an unreasonable expectation. I'm sorry, black This people. alcohol went right <laughs> to my head. <laughs> Holy balls. I went through five minutes. <laughs> wow. I got three left okay. over for the night. I mean, no, you've got plenty. Here. Sex story. Not sex story. Sex shop story. Sex shop. Aww. They owned a wonderful sex shop. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> now, to their credit, because i got to be honest, they were good. They never let me go <laughs> to the other, to the velvet to, side. To the one with the curtain in front? Oh, yeah. it was a big curtain. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna answer that. Oh, my God. You should. Please? Oh, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, yeah. You got to swipe it. Greetings and salutations. You are on the podcast. Speaker. Is it a pocket dial? Oh, it's time to send that we have massive erections. I already sent it. Pocket dial? Sounds like a pocket dial. It sounds like a pocket dial. Goodbye! Anyways, sex shop. The velvet curtain. The dick is still on the wall. The dick is still on the wall with a mustache. I'm so good. I'm not going to be able to drive home, ever. Good. I'm here till Stay here. Monday. <laughs> Wait a second. I wonder. Could you sleep on a couch? What? Could you sleep on a couch, or are you and Tila going to have, like... Sex? Sex. Maybe. Okay. Can you have sex and then not sleep in your bed? Why? Melissa needs a bed. Arthritis in the back. That's the only thing that's keeping her from staying the night. We'll work on a solution later. Okay. <laughs> we'll let you know what happens next week. <laughs> There's a tub, don't worry. What We're underneath the buffet table. What the hell go to home? There's an air mattress. There's an air mat. My air mattress, right? Maybe that'll solve everything. Maybe. We can get shit faced. No. There's a <laughs> Don't leave me hanging! High five yourself. Your air mattress sucks balls, by the way. It does not it is a straight gay air mattress. I would... What the fuck was that? I went camping with that, and I was on the floor by was that, like was that four the in the Canada morning. Day camping trip? Yes, <laughs> it was. Okay, I have a question for the sex story, sex store story. During Canada Day weekend, yes, your girlfriend who you love, yes, right, yes. At least at this point in time, if you're watching ten years from now, nobody knows what's going to happen. No, I guess not. That's true. Years ago, I said I love people that I don't fucking care about anymore. Anyways, so <laughs> kidding. <laughs> nice hat. 
what, look, he wears hats all the time. I see a DH media symbol right there. As long as he keeps the hat clean. Because I'm assuming that yellow used to be white. Yeah, I wore this to work a lot. Gross. Camping. Where'd you camp? Algonquin. Algonquin Park, Park yeah. Love Algonquin. I'm trying to think of the name of the room. Camped in Algonquin. Play. Yeah. I have Cayude in Algonquin. I Cayude? Cayude? Ca- you. My Cayude. 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 I've kayaked in Algonquin. <laughs> Shit. I've kayaked in Algonquin. I've portaged in Algonquin. cut this yeah. man off. I've portaged in Algonquin. Great camp. You're in Algonquin. You get a phone call. Yes. And the phone call says... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I got a phone call from somebody who had claimed to be... This night's going on till like 3 a.m. ambulance <laughs> attendant. And I was... I, I'll be sober at 7. I wasn't okay. entirely sure what was going on. But he said, okay, so your girlfriend... What a great way to start. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen. Okay. I, I'm an ambulance attendant. Your girlfriend was... I'm a hypnotist, but nobody believes me. She, he, she was injured... In a it's car rude. accident on the way to Injured. buying flowers, <laughs> and then <laughs> well, go on, specific. go on to emphasize specifically every aspect of buying the flowers, and I'm just asking, okay, what the? I don't, I don't <laughs> believe you because you sound like you're full of shit. Okay. But if you are an ambulance attendant, and if you pulled my girlfriend out of a wreck, what color was the car that she was driving? Yellow. And he's like, white. And I was like, fuck you. Her car isn't white. Goodbye. But, hang up. In the back of your mind, you were like, that was weird. Yeah. So I called my good friend, Jesse. Hey! Good friend. <laughs> High five for good friend. And he knows where this goes from there. I do. I get a phone call. I'm still in bed because we had a wedding that day. I was getting ready for the wedding. So I'm like, I get a phone call. Uh, I got a phone call from a prank number. I'm kind of mad. I'm very angry. Uh, somebody said Teal was in a car accident. I'm thinking, uh, another dead friend. Rip. So I'm like, I'll pack up and be on my way. Get in the car, all packed up, ready for a wedding and a dead friend. Kind of dressing nice for both. It works. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. You wear black. (laughs) Black is a good color. Our uniforms are great for weddings and funerals. They are. Sponsorship at a funeral. Hashtag Ostrander's Funeral Home at (laughs) Tilsonburg. My family. Oh, boy. No, that's You're on the podcast. Thank you for calling. Guys, I'm making food. Hurry up. Hello. Hello. Brian. Bree. 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 Cheese. What is this bullshit? I like dick. <laughs> I knew it. She's not happy. What is this bullshit? She's not happy at all. Okay. We'll finish this. Okay. So she gets in a car accident. I drive to her. She's not good. No. There's bloody mm. blood running down her eye. No. Eyes puffed up to the size of a golf ball. We're going golfing this summer, by the way. We are. I am we down. Still, we are down. We're GoPros. Let's get hammered. We're Let's get hammered. GoPros. Okay. Put a flask in my fucking golf <laughs> cart. I ain't paying for overpriced beer at a golf course. No. The flask. The flask. The flask. The flask. The flask. Anyways. What? Shut up. Something queer like your father. <laughs> Who's father? Mine or hers? <laughs> uh, she doesn't know my dad's. So I okay. saw her underwear. She's she's met your dad. Unfortunately, she's been in our your apartment. Oh, true. <laughs> Don't you remember that stripper call? <clears throat> Anyways, Don't give me that look. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I thought she came back. <laughs> it's a guy. So, you're in Algonquin. Yes. How many hours away? Probably four and a half. You get a phone call or a text. Yes. She is in the hospital. She's yes. alive. Yeah. Consequently, she's not driving a white car. She was no. driving her car. Yes. That silver, she had just got. A silver Toyota Corolla that she'll be making payments on for the next two years. <laughs> two years. It's in a junkyard all crushed. Yeah. Rip. How are you feeling? I've never what asked. The, she's I'm mad. She's really, really annoyed because I didn't know how severe everything was at the moment. You'll owe me later. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was pretty annoyed. And ultimately, I was kind of thinking, I'm going to have to buy her a car. And I bought her a car, so I guess that's out of the way. But but no, pretty annoyed. Hmm. And then I saw her when I came back, which is a big jump, because that was like two days after or a day after or something. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, God, I got to deal with a girlfriend with a severe concussion that I have to help walk around the house. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. That day... 
that when we we went to your work site to get a health card or something? I yes, yeah, she she wanted to get something from me. I don't yeah. know what it was. And I drove her to the to the to the medical center. Yes. Cuz the hospital which we won't mention names. Yes. Cuz I can't Not a good hospital. Name. Not a good hospital. No. Um I didn't treat her well, and they took her off, and we went to the clinic, and as soon as she got to the clinic, I, I think it was like just a mental exhaustion. She made it, and she's like, I can't do it, and she had to sit in the chair, and she was down for the count again, and then she ended up in the same goddamn hospital, but this time, she got kind of the attention. Oh, Once really? again, not a lesbian, not can't true. help but being disappointed. Maybe they're gay. <laughs> Nobody knows what we're talking about. No. No. Could be Tila and Melissa. That would be interesting. That would be. That would be. I don't know where to go. We got that. the cameras. I don't know where to go. We got the cameras. <laughs> I'll go buy a 4K camera got right the, now. We got the equipment. It's a good thing nobody watches this. It's true. Let's Yo, start watching an episode yeah, 11. Subscribers, man. Three. You got three. Three. Yo, me, I'll be five. Because I have two accounts. <laughs> I have multiple. I have two accounts. So. You're feeling disappointed. And what's the story of sex shop? Going from Tila's concussion to sex shop. Parents own a sex shop. It's great. Not a sex shop. That old novelty shop. We did a lot of work for them. Black men buy penis enlargements. Yeah. I didn't know this fact. They have to... You know what? It's okay being white. It'd be, it would be horrible being Asian. And it would horrible being black. Because you have these massive or tiny stereotypes that you have to deal with. Yeah. If you're an Asian that's moderately endowed, you're good. Anything bigger than a pinky, like, uh oh. Keep going. True. Keep going. Is it good? Just keep going. Okay. So anything bigger than a pinky, you're good. Yeah. Black man, anything smaller than a baguette, <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> Battery dead, right? Gotta be battery. Rip. No. Is it fine? Maybe it overheated. Is it warm? It's pretty fucking warm. <laughs> Could you roast a marshmallow? Cool, it's rolling. I press record. Okay. Mm, okay, we're good. Okay. Oh no, it just. Wait. Okay, that's fine. That's good. We're good. Fine, it's all at the end. You that's got not the, worth it. There you go. Fine, you okay. got the GoPro. It's fine. Everything's good. I gotta, oh. I gotta do a ghetto cast. Ghetto cast. Go wide. There you go. There you go. Two angles. Like a hooker girlfriend. Nice. It's out of focus, probably, but I don't. It's fine. Okay. Whatever. Soft focus, like most men. So soft. Where was I? Stereotypes. Oh, stereotypes. Black men, big penis. Being white is nice because if you're small, you can be average. If you're biggish, you can still be average. If what you're is huge, average for a white man, though? Probably five and a half inches or so. I don't know. That's what the average for all of human society is. And if white people have the average, then the average of the average. You know the problem I have. What? The circumference. <laughs> Pencil dick? Pencil no. dick! No! Like, I've never had a problem, but I feel like doing the math, I've never... It wasn't until a few years ago that I actually measured the size of my penis. Tila lent me a tape measure. <laughs> Did she take it back? Yes. Oh. With your dick on it? <laughs> this is Jesse's dick tape measure somewhere in my Jessica's... Jessica. You marked it with a pencil? Jesse's dick tape. I did. <laughs> Put the date on it. Date. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow. <laughs> cha 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 chia. <laughs> cha chia dick. So, I measured oh, it. Fucking Christ. That was him. That was me. So, measure it, and I got thinking men measure their circumference. I and haven't. I've, I've never, never done, done that. Either. I've never done that either. Yeah. And at this point, I'm like, I'm white, I'm right in the middle. Yo, if I can get my but show off, it's fine. I'm a grower. Grower, not a shower. You pointed that out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was in my underwear once, and you're like, yeah, no. Well, Just not a grower. On... <laughs> not a shower. Grower, not a shower. Exactly. Mm. So. <laughs> anyways. Had the tape measure, trying to gain my thoughts. I'm like, I could measure the circumference, but I feel like this is where it could get depressing. Mm. I've got a light, but you know what? It's not a pencil, but. It's not a cigar either. Oh, it's a cigar. 
It is a Cuban. It is a Cuban. It's a Cuban. I would cigar. hope so. I it is more than a Cuban. Speaking of Cubans, I kind of wish I had one to, to suck on. I was going to buy... <laughs> I was going to buy cigars. Where's the closest convenience store? Mm, probably close. We could walk. We're probably all too impaired to do that. We, we can walk. walk, yeah. I'd go for cigars. Yeah. yeah. Small cigars. Nothing Colts. that will rip our mouth open. Mm. <laughs> Definitely not <laughs> nothing, Cubans. Not, nothing too girthy. So, I don't want a Cuban. Hey, let's go back to sex shop. Moderate endowment. I'm white. I'm good with it. Yeah. I haven't had any complaints except for every ex. True. It's a horrible complaint. <laughs> As the Wicked Witch of the West was throwing me out, she was like, well, at least now I can date a man with a big penis. <laughs> oh. That's unfortunate for her next boyfriend. It's a lot of expectations to live up to. No shit. Apparently he's not like a horse. Holy fuck. No How shit. big is a horse? A horse? No, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> In twelve. <laughs> okay. Up on her is bad. Sex shop story. Yes. Finally, I'm old enough to go behind the curtain. I'm thinking, porn. True. Videos. So that's what's back there. Much porn. Yes. A lot of videos. And this was. Don't you have the internet? Yeah, but they More. watched what I was doing. I got it. okay. Anyways, look, look at your history. Porn. I go back, and there's this wall. Wall of porn of videos. Porn, all with just these amazing covers. All the porns you could think of. Movie parodies, Shaving Ryan's Privates, done. All <laughs> 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 these movie parodies. <laughs> Toy Story, amazing. Cinematic, better than Pixar. Forrest Hump. Forrest Hump. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you did last erection. <laughs> Is it good or bad? No, it's bad. Okay, it's that's bad. Fine. that one's coming. Whatever. Okay, whatever. It's a wall of porn, and there's this there's this DVD cover, and it's got this this woman, and she's staring right at me. She's got her hands on her breasts, and she's looking at me, and her eyes are like, "I want you inside me," and I'm looking at her face, and she's got like. Like a sexy look. I have breasts. <laughs> look at them. That's a horrible thing to learn. I'm going to hold them out like she was. <laughs> and she's holding her breasts and she's got nipples. I'm like, I like nipples. I hope she has nipples. <laughs> I hope she has nipples. And as my eyes are going down, I was like, those are nice boobs. Dick. <laughs> and I go down to where the vagina is. Dicks. And there's just this giant penis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. And the first <laughs> porn cover I ever saw <laughs> was, was for was what's it? the political cl- political version? Trans- Transgender chicks, porn. Chicks with dicks. Chicks with dicks. And this chick had a bigger penis than I ever will. <laughs> Fake. No shit. <laughs> when you have a penis that looks like a, a subway arm. foot long. Baby's arm. A <laughs> five dollar foot long. <laughs> it's time to leave the sex shop. Yeah. So that's what you did. That's what you did. I went to the other side of the sex shop and dressed up like gorilla for six hours. True. Yeah. yeah. Why? Fireworks. Fireworks. We fireworks. used to dress up as characters and sell fireworks. Unfortunately, he was the male gorilla. I was the female gorilla. With I used a skirt. to be the female gorilla all the time. <laughs> yeah. I had a six pack. I don't. I'm going to ask about this after the podcast over. I got a few things to tell you. Maybe on a walk to a cigar shop. Is yeah. a good idea? That okay. is the drunkest edition of the podcast that I hope we do for a long time. I enjoyed it. Thank oh, you for having second, me on. Second. Wait a second. Oh. New Year's Eve. Yeah. Episode like. That's a long 48. Time. Yeah. Start at 8 p.m. Drink until midnight. Oh my. Go for four wow. hours. All right. We've got, we've got like. Okay. Eight months live stream. Stay tuned for mid- live stream. Live stream Stay it. tuned for New Year's Eve when we're both. <laughs> a funny thing will happen hammered. on the way to the podcast. And maybe Justin will return for that. Cheers. Podcast. Maybe I will. You never know. <laughs> Have a good night. Men's Have a fun St. Patrick's Day, which even even though it's like a month in May. In the past. Enjoy May 2-4 yeah. as we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Adios. Amigos. Good night. Oh, I gotta pee. <laughs> oh, so much. Oh, my God. You know we're leaving that part in. I don't care.